The market continues to chop as we wait for it to break out of this range. This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so the market held yesterday's low and then chopped higher, but other than that, we didn't get a whole lot of information. Yesterday was basically a chop shop, and we're still waiting for the market to break out of this range in either the B wave higher toward the 4,000 level or down to the 3880 level in wave five. I'll get into all that in just one second, but first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. Highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. All right, guys, just as a reminder, over the last few months, we have been killing this market with all of the chop and move that it's had. We've been all over it. So if you're interested in joining our team, stay tuned for later in the video. For now, let's jump into the chart and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the one-hour futures chart for the S&P 500. And as you can see, they held yesterday's low, and then they started to push higher here up to that 30... A 971 area that we talked about in yesterday's video and they held that area pretty well and have kind of chopped around since then so it's basically going to be a case of can they break out over this 3980 area or can they break down below this low here at 3937 below 3937 does give us a strong indication we're headed lower and below that 3980 area gives us the indication that we're headed higher we have been tracking this ABC down and it does look like we've completed wave three and we do need this wave four that we're in right now, which should lead us to a wave five lower in the 3880 area. But if this is all of wave uh, A over here, we could be getting this B wave bounce as our alternate path. And again, from there off the top, it would this be A down and then we'd look for that B wave bounce. And that would come in at the 3995 area up to about the 4015 area. So if they break over 3080, we would expect them to challenge 4K and come up into this B wave area before, a, before seeing a C wave down into the 37 to 3800 areas. I don't expect them to break out and get back over this top directly as this is very sloppy off the bottom. And typically what you wanna see is an impulsive move and I don't think we have that off of this low right here with all of this overlap. So I do think that one of these two paths will play out where we get the direct move down towards 3880 or the quick spike up toward the 4000. 4015 level and then a move down to 37 to 3800 from there over on the nasdaq as you can imagine very similar paths on the nasdaq we're still waiting they held yesterday's low and they pushed higher up to that 38 uh retrace around the 11 6, uh, 50 area which is what we talked about in yesterday's video and they held that area pretty well and then they chopped around for the rest of the day after that we are just basically waiting for them to break down below this low at 11,478 or over the 11,710 area for us to get confirmation of which way we are headed. So the two paths that we're tracking are that we have completed wave three of the C wave down, we're getting wave four up, and then wave five down to the 11,300 area. Or as an alternate path, we would be talking about this being all of this A wave here, all of this A wave down, and this would be an A, B, C up to the uh, 11,780 to 11,685 or 865 area for that B wave, and then a move down to the 11,100 to 11,000 area after that. So very similar to the ES in the sense that we're either gonna get the direct move lower to the 11,3 before getting this B wave bounce, or we're in the B wave bounce right now before a move down to the 11,100 to 11,000 areas. Guys, if you like the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me you need to check out investwithjacob.com there's a link down in the description go ahead and click that link and it will take you right over to the website once you're there check out our membership plans area we have two incredible plans and they both come with a seven day free trial because I want you to get in there and become part of our trading team and make sure you love it before you ever spend a penny. You can cancel at any time. In our first room, the Invest with Jacob room, you get all of my real time market updates, all of my buy and sell alerts, all of your Elliott Wave questions answered, as well as a midday video where we go through which path is playing out and exactly where we are in the counts so you're always updated on what's going on. We trade the SPY and the QQQ and we swing trade which means our trades can last anywhere from a few days to a few months, so we don't trade quite as often as a day trading room does. However, if you are interested in day trading as well as individual stocks, you need to check out PT's Throne Room. In there, you get everything you get in the Invest with Jacob room as well as individual stocks, day trading, and PT's reduced risk binary method that just crushes the market. 
He gets you in at a cheap price, and he gets you big multiples on your money, and it's how he structures the trade that's so unique. It's something you really have to see to understand, and that's another reason we give you that seven-day free trial. He also started a challenge account where he put $4,000 into an account trading mini ES futures, averaging 3 to 4% gains per week, showing you how to build a small account into a large retirement or savings account. Guys, we would love to have you in this room so we can make some money together. All right, key takeaways for today. We're waiting for this path to play out, whether they break out over 39.80 to give us an uh, indication that we're on our way to the B wave at 4,000 to 40.15, or they break down below that 30, uh, 39.37 area, which would indicate we would be heading down toward the 38.80 levels. Over on the NASDAQ, same type of patterns playing out. We're looking for a break over the 11.710 area to give us an indication that we're headed higher in that B wave, or a break down below the 11.470 area to give us an indication we're headed down to 11.300 to complete the bigger A wave down. Guys, it's the weekend. Grab yourself a drink, get away from the computer, get out of the house, enjoy your family, have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you next week.